This is Laura Zam, and this is Sexual Healing Central. Today, we're going to be talking to Pamela Aubrey about how we can use energy healing to heal sexual trauma. Stay tuned. <music> Hi, Pamela. Welcome. Hi. Thank you so much, Laura. Such a joy to be here. I'm so excited to have you here. Would you mind introducing yourself to our listeners and viewers? Absolutely. So my name is Pamela Aubrey. I'm the owner of Rising Energy, and I'm an EFT practitioner and also what I like to call an intuitive revealer. So a little bit different than what we consider healing. Revealing is more of unearthing layers of someone's true identity and allowing those to come through. So let's, uh, let's move into the tips. So these are your three tips for how energy healing can help specifically with healing sexual trauma. What, yeah, what, what so are you going to share with us? Yes. So the first thing I think is just to realize that energy work is different than traditional therapy. So where we're used to going to someone and talking about things and hashing them out and getting to the heart of it, it's just not that at all. And in some cases, it's the opposite. And it can almost feel like, well, aren't we going to talk about this? Like, don't you need to know the details? And, and no, no, it's not important because our bodies already know and they're already going to do what they need to do. And, and that's the other kind of amazing piece of it is that our bodies know how to heal themselves. They want to heal themselves. They want us to help them heal. And so once we begin that conversation with our body, it will continue that conversation. So sometimes, you know, I'll be going through a tapping session with someone and they'll say, oh, I'll, you know, and I, and I do check in as we're going along, you know, is there, are you experiencing anything? Are you, you know, hearing anything? Are you feeling anything? And sometimes someone will say, well, all of a sudden I have this pain in my right side or something. Okay. So that's the place in your body where that energy has been stored. So we're going to address that because there's something more to the energy than what we were already addressing. So it's allowing us to go to that next layer, like I was talking about earlier, and start to uncover it from that next layer. So that's, that's something else to keep in mind is that this is just something very different than traditional therapy, number one. Number two, you can think of it similar to acupuncture, right? So you're going in and you are going to feel this energy moving in your body, right? It's going to be different from what you've experienced before if you haven't done energy work. And there could be some waves to that. You know, you could feel a real wave of sadness all of a sudden and just burst into tears. You know, I mean, you could start sweating. You know, your body can have these different reactions. And so just to be aware, that's a normal part of the process that you're just moving energy through your body and it's nothing to be afraid of. And then the third thing is, you know, when you're actually talking about something really traumatic, a lot of times that's a process. You know, you're not going into one session of EFT and uncovering the energy of an entire traumatic experience, most likely. The odds are you're going to go in and you're going to get a few layers of it you know, in a, in a 15 to 20 minute session. And then you're going to let your body kind of recover from that. And it needs to go through its own self-care process to do that, right? I mean, it's a lot to move that kind of energy. And a lot of times, you know, I'm telling people, you know, if you've been seeing a therapist, if you, if you have been talking to someone over a period of time that is now a consistent person in your life or someone that you turn to when, it, you know, when you're seeking therapy, don't stop doing that. You know, I, I think that's important to keep in mind too. Don't stop doing that because that's, something that your body is, a, is accustomed to and that you're accustomed to, your mind is accustomed to. So, so don't let that go necessarily, but add this work to it and then see how much quicker you move forward and see results. And I think it's very fascinating to, to see the difference between the two and then to be able to gauge for yourself, okay, you know, how do I want to move forward? How, you know, what do I feel about these different things? And how much more do I even need to keep talking about these, these same topics? Yeah, that's a, such an important point is to how these 
modalities are great complements. They're not necessarily in right. lieu of some kinds of psychotherapy, especially if we are really needing yes. to, right, to be with a licensed mental health professional yes. to deal with very, very, very difficult topics. I, I, yes. I, at the same time, I think we often don't get into other aspects of our healing if mm -hmm. we're only in that therapy room and That's we're true. not also moving our energy around, discovering different parts of yes. how we can, um, how we can, yeah, move that energy, um, release energies, cultivate yes. different kinds of energies, like in this case, an erotic energy. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I think this is so important. Pamela, can you share a little bit of the tapping just so people might see? Like, I would love to. Like? Yes. So when you first start a session, let's just say you've got a headache, right? We'll start with something really basic. And because, and, that, and that's another thing to keep in mind, you're not going to do EFT tapping for something traumatic by yourself. Okay. Because there are some techniques you want to use along the way to support your body in that. And so that's, it's a process to get to that point. So we'll start with something really basic. You've got a headache. And so you're going to start with a setup phrase and you're going to say, even though I have this headache, I want to deeply love and accept myself. And you do this three times. Even though I have this headache, I want to deeply love and accept myself. And then a third time. Even though I have this headache, I want to deeply love and accept myself. And then you tag on and forgive myself and whatever is causing this. And then we just start a round of tapping. And it's usually head first, just, you know, this headache. And then we go to the back of the head, it's headache. If it's not a headache, do you still start here in the head? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then go back to the top of your head, this headache. And then this headache. And you just kind of work through these points. And it would be like, that argument with my husband, whatever it is, you just anything. Say, yeah. That, yeah. that person that cut me off on track, you know, I mean, or my kids are driving me up the wall today, you know, whatever it is. Yes. Yeah. 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 Or anxiety is a big one. You know, a lot of people experience a lot of anxiety, especially now, and, you know, I mean, it's just become so pervasive over the last year. And so, you know, to use this for anxiety is incredibly powerful. And this is actually one of the first techniques that I use for anxiety that I found to be really beneficial. Prior to using EFT, I was using Reiki and Reiki was great, but I couldn't sit and do Reiki on myself all day long. Right. And so I would do it in the mornings or I would do it, you know, periodically during the day, but it wasn't enough. It was just, it was like, it felt good for that minute, but it wasn't really getting to the source of it. And so we can use this with anxiety. It's a great one. Now I will say that's, Anxiety is one of those that if you're tapping on anxiety and you start getting other things coming up, then you need to just, you need to stop and let your body just release what it's already released and, and come back to it later. Because if you're not really prepared to deal with whatever is coming up, you may actually re-traumatize as opposed to releasing the energy. It's just too much. You're really only working on one thing at a time when you're yes. tapping. So it's back of the head, top of the head. Top, yep, and then back, and then top. And eyebrows, eyebrows, temple, under the eyes, under the mouth, and under the nose. And then under the collarbone, and then under the arms, and then wrists, and sides of hands. So helpful. And there's different, there's different, you know, you can do a lot of different points, but those are kind of the core points. And you can actually go to my website. I've got videos on there. I've got stuff on YouTube to show you how to do some of these things. And I also have some other energy modalities on there you can utilize as well. But, you know, it's very simple if you've got just these little tiny things that you're tapping on throughout the day, an argument, you know, whatever it is, to just do that for four or five minutes and then go on with your day. Wow, this is yeah. so amazing. So, so amazing. Thank you so much for sharing. I'm going to have your website resources in the show notes so people can absolutely just go right there, find Wonderful. your videos, find you, find out all the amazing stuff that you're doing. 
I feel something. <laughs> I, feel I, feel I, feel a sh- I definitely feel a shift. Love that. Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> Thank you so much for visiting with us, Pamela, and sharing your wisdom.